Today's activism segment comes to you, as always, in partnership with the Unfuck It Up Project, where creator Katie Goodman and activist director Katie Klebusik highlight individuals and organizations working to change the world. Today's campaign, Core Teachers, Not Core Curriculum. Undoubtedly, ground zero for education reform, aka corporatization and privatization, is Chicago. The entire nation watched as a unified and dynamic union bolstered by solidarity and organizational support from community groups, Occupy, and other local unions took to the streets in 2012 to scream that their unelected school board was about to further devastate the school's public school system. Since that time, schools have been closed and teachers have been laid off. From the outside, it would appear that Mayor Emanuel and the profit-driven school board have been largely successful. On the ground, however, the Chicago Teachers Union is pulling together its members, parents, and anyone interested in the education of our future citizenry. You need not have children of your own to be invested in the next generation's success, as we are all dependent on it. The CTU and its president, the CTU and its president, Karen Lewis, whose interview it. The CTU and its president, Karen Lewis, whose interview with progressive radio host Matthew Filipovich is included in today's segment notes, have been outspoken about making their cause an inclusive one. With that in mind, the Caucus of Rank and File Educators, or CORE, is becoming an organizational hub with the primary goal of, quote, working to keep the rank and file of Chicago Teachers Union vital. CORE is empowering educators, parents, and community members in neighborhoods across the city through fairs, educational events, and demanding that the media not ignore the rapid takeover of public education by an agenda-driven class of CEOs and their allies. CoreTeachers.org has links to their calendar, blogs by education experts like Diane Ravitch and Kenzo Shibata, and connections to other public education advocacy groups, a resource particularly helpful because of the issue-confusing language employed by the reform movement. It can be a challenge to discern who is funding what and which groups are actually working for students and teachers. Visit CORE's website to stay informed, donate, and volunteer. Education is under attack in virtually every corner of the U.S. In Indiana, Governor Mike Pence has created a bizarre situation with his attempt to circumvent the elected state superintendent by severing her power over the State Board of Education. Philadelphia has a state-run school reform commission, a Democratic gubernatorial candidate who's championing the sale of the district's art to bridge the funding gap, and a slate of schools on the chopping block. Detroit's bankruptcy makes the selling off of school buildings and property so unsurprising it has received essentially no coverage in the national media. Charter schools are being championed in these and other districts as public schools are sacrificed. If the third largest district in the country can beat back privatization, its efforts would be a template for other cities and the nation. Spread the word about core teachers, support their efforts, and as always, remember that getting involved locally with your teacher-sponsored community groups is one of the most effective ways to push for progressive policies. You should also check out the handbook due out later this year, Class Action by Micah Utrich, a progressive labor journalist whose work you've seen everywhere from The Nation to In These Times to The Guardian. Links for today's campaign will be in the show notes and all the usual places. Please visit the Best of the Left Facebook page for updates on this and other activism opportunities.